Jack. How are you guys? Good. Are you good? Yeah, good, man. So for those of you who are surprised, uh, our director of rugby has taken up a new hobby, uh, mixed martial arts. <laughs> and that's why you see him a little bit uh, patched up. He had a good fight on Sunday. One fight, one, one loss. <laughs> Okay, shoot, guys, shoot, shoot. Um, Koji, maybe we'll just start with uh, the uh, press release that Lunga just sent mm -hmm. out. Uh, see Ruan and uh, Masala, new captains. Maybe just uh, your thinking around that. I know they've been part of the leadership. Yeah. For, uh, so, uh, yeah, my thinking is that with the long season we have, the chances of having the captain on the field all the time is almost uh, impossible. I think also, let's not forget, we've got Marco van Staden coming back, who also plays open side flank. So it doesn't mean that uh, Marcel will be picked every single week. Um, and therefore, I just think it's probably easier if I have two guys that can be captains. Um, but that doesn't to stop us from Nazam Kar, Grobis, Harold Foster, Ulrich Lowe ever being the captain in a game if both those guys aren't on the field. You know, So just from an official point of view, two captains, they're good mates, they get on well, um, they know how we want to play. And so, yeah, it probably makes it easier to just announce two rather than one captain for the season. Do you want to move closer to the mic? Sure, 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 sure. Thank you. Jack, just in terms of last season, obviously you had a proper review um, mm, mm. Of the, after the season. What do you want to do better yeah. or differently this year? Well, the most important thing is, uh, you know, as I said, after the season, we, we didn't win anything. Um, you know, amazing how it is in a club like this, which I'm obviously very proud to be part of. We made a semi-final of the Curry Cup. We made a quarter-final. We made the top 16 of Europe, uh, which in itself, you know, not any team just goes. You look at the quality and calibre of teams playing in the Champions Cup. To make a Champions Cup every year is uh, is a you know is a phenomenal achievement. So, and to answer your question, Kubis, we want to we want to win something. Um, you know, we want to make sure that our fans are, are you know obviously proud of the fact that we we win trophies um so that's the one thing and then just from a game point of view you know we were the most i think we scored the second most amount of points in the urc scored the most amount of points in the curry cup but the one area we probably let ourselves down we conceded the most amount of points out of south african franchises and that's one area we've worked at so we got john tit and gary but uh, gary gary gold coming in as defense coaches and uh yeah you know probably put a an emphasis on that, you know, just in terms of conceding penalties, conceding points, uh, probably being soft in, in allowing teams to to score points against us. So that'll be an area that we'll be we'll be working hard on in order making it a bit tougher for teams to get points against us. Uh, and the lessons learned, um, Carl mentioned how last season it was got a. Then you at home, and then you in Europe again. Yeah, yeah. Um, lessons learned from that. Yeah, I mean, I. Again, it's uh, travel, rotation of squads. I think I probably, you know, and I'm saying this, probably hung on to the same group of players for as long as I can. Probably didn't, didn't, uh, didn't show flexibility in selections. Probably didn't, didn't trust the fact that I could make changes. And I've decided this year, where, you know, with the preseason and interchanging players, you know, for argument's sake, we use an example the weekend, you know, and I haven't given my team out, but. You know, to go with what's tried and tested from last year is probably the comfortable thing. But to get out of my comfort zone and pick some some guys who maybe haven't played um, and try on different combinations, I think, you know, again credit to the Springboks. I was watching them obviously this this World Cup campaign. I mean, a lot of coaches probably would have gone with Pollard to start. You know, a lot of coaches I'm talking about previous pop coaches would have probably gone with uh, you know with other combinations. They wouldn't have started Marnie. Maybe they would have you know. They would have brought another hooker in. They wouldn't have backed the fact that they had two hookers that, that can play flank as well. And that's just from experience. I think you know if you look at at the box, what you know what Rassi's done, it's it's a phenomenal thing to see in terms of the fact that during the course of the year they changed their fly halves, they changed their front row. They you know they weren't scared to to put different combinations on, and, and there's a success to it. That, you know, they, so yeah, I suppose to answer your question is. Thing that I'm really looking forward to is to try different things, not just be stuck in in trying to keep the same group of players together. Um, and it's a good time to do it. I mean, it's uh, you know three years, four years into the campaign that I've been here. Um, yes, 
Kuka I have got a lot of more depth. I mean, you get a guy like Akar van Ameva coming in, you get a guy like Henry Immelman coming in, you get a guy like Yaku, Yaku van der Valt coming in. You know, obviously they're older, a bit wiser, a little bit more experienced, so that does help. But there's no, no reason why I can't do that with some of the younger guys who've been in our group as well. Jake, you've got a, you guys got a great record here against European opposition. Yeah. Um, if you want that success, part of that's going to have to be to win on the road a lot more. Mm. Uh, just your thoughts about what, the, the lessons you guys have learned? Yeah, that? Brendan, and also to win derbies. I think the reality is we lost here. We, you know, we fell short because we lost. We lost at home to the Sharks. We lost at home to the Lions, and we didn't beat the Stormers once. You know, we lost to them twice as well. So, I think the one lesson, which is obvious, is you need to win your derby games. You know, and. Uh, yeah, and so that's why I said I think one of the lessons that I and I'm 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 you know cha I'm continuing on the same track is to have players who can play, not you know rest on on one group of players. Um, as I said, I think Rassi in the box have shown, and I think the Stormers to a large extent last year in the URC also. You know, Clayton playing, and then you know then it doesn't matter if he doesn't play, and then you know then they play Warwick Gallant, and if he doesn't play, he goes to centre, and if he doesn't play, so I think you know again the lesson that I learned there, not not that I didn't know it. Probably was a little bit. Uh, I was probably a little bit bung to do it last year because because I didn't feel like I I prepared them well enough to put them on the field. So yeah, we need to win at home. Obviously, we need to win on the road. A couple of. I think we are. To be fair, though, I think we're probably one of the most successful franchises playing away from home um, in the last couple of years. Um, but the one area that I do think we need to look at is is the is the domestic uh, derbies because those are like double whammies every time you get away. Obviously, URC is the main main competition, but you think a couple of people yeah. success there, and that's a tougher competition. Yeah, look, I mean, again, you know, I don't want to start the year and, and sound, but I mean, the budgets of those American, uh, those uh, big clubs are 200 million. Budgets of our clubs are 100 million. You know, so you're talking about a double. And I saw that in Toulouse last year. You know, what Toulouse have done. <laughs> Um, and an interesting stat that I'm sure you guys I'm sure would have picked up in the off-season. You know, Stormers and Munster played in the final. The average age of the forwards and backs were about 27, 28. Um, uh, Saracens won the premiership. Average age of their backs and forwards about 28, 29. You know, you look at Toulouse, average age of their back, and they, they won the, the French championships 27, 28, 29. Ours was 24 and 25. And then we've lost... You know, we've lost uh, Mornay, Stain and Bismarck, so average age probably gone to about 19 now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, that, that is the thing that I learned is that, so do, you know, again, we want to do well in Europe, but I think the first thing is to get a bit of momentum in the URC, see how the whole European thing, you know, pans out. We've got Saracens first up at home. I mean, I think two thirds of that team are playing in the semi final of the World Cup on the weekend, so it just shows you what kind of, you know, first up game it's going to be. And I think once, from my experience, once you're in that tournament, you see how the permutations work and how you can make different, you know, different playoffs, and you can you can structure your team around that. And uh, you have uh, four players that might play in the semi-finals uh, yes. this weekend. Uh, just maybe, what have you made of uh, of their campaign? Oh, look, I mean, I'm sure it's a wonderful experience for all of them. You know, you look at a guy like Kane and Moody; he's 20 years old. I mean, it's unbelievable to think he's playing in a in a in a team that can go on and win the World Cup. Uh, you know, obviously, I just had a look the last time, you know, he played since the 22nd of April, he's played six rugby games. Now, he didn't play in COVID um, because of COVID as well, so there was no schools rugby. So the one area where I suppose we've got to look at is what do we do for him to stay rugby, rugby sharp? Um, and so, you know, we'll, ha we'll have to have a look at when they get back to us, how much time they have off. I mean, it's obviously, they win the World Cup, they're going to have a road show, they're going to... You know, it's going to be fantastic for them. But then the next time you see those players will probably be end of November. Now, I mean, if you think about it, that's probably six games of rugby from April to November. You know, I suppose what I'm answering is it's wonderful for them, but we've got to find a win-win in which we can make sure that he continues to grow as a rugby player. But to have four guys there that can experience that, I mean, I can talk from experience. I don't know how many of you have been to France this year, but I mean, from the TV, it looks phenomenal. It looks like it's a well-organized World Cup. I mean, the team's gelling at the right time, um, and it must be an incredible, incredible uh, experience for all those guys because, you know, even the even the practice sessions are sold out. So it just shows you how much, you know, how much you'll grow in that experience. Coach, um, I wanted to ask you something offline, but I'm told you don't have one last. Yes. Um, I'm poor Chanji. I know you're, you're a senior coach. I'm sure it's not a place. Who are you talking about now? I'm poor Chanji. 
Yeah, yeah. I know it's not your place because I doesn't play for you, but you're yes. a senior guy, you can talk about it. Yes. Um, what does his return mean um, to, to him in the international Well, right? hopefully not too much because I tried to sign him to come here, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's, I think every, I think what, what, what I think what you learn with a guy like him is everyone makes mistakes, you know. And uh, he was young, gets another chance to play. I'm sure he'll come back as a, as a, as a better player because he's got older and wiser. I mean, as I said, you know, we'd love to have him join the Bulls as well, um, but we weren't lucky enough to get his signature. So I'm sure he'll, I'm sure he'll do well at the, at the Sharks. Jack, just looking at, at, at younger players in the group, uh, mm. guys like uh, Jan Hendrik Vessels, Monasmith, mm. uh, mm. Vier, um, is this a season for them to make that extra step up? Yeah, well, unfortunately for Vier, he broke his leg last mm. Wednesday, so he'll probably be out for about four months. It's like okay. quite a bad was break. It yeah, bad? It was quite okay. a bad break. Mm. Uh, so that puts him back a little bit. Um, but, you know, I said this, I've been reflecting a bit in the, in the off-season, chatted to a lot of people. You know, when I took this job uh, about three and a half years ago, I mean, the team was Mornay Smith and Grobies and Gerard Steenkamp and Ruan Nokia. I'm just mentioning names, Alrich Lowe, you know, Jan Hendrik Vessels. I mean, they were all 20, 21, 22 years old, you know. And obviously three years later now, a couple of them are 25. And I, I get the feeling like we are, we like a schoolboy side that's gone from having standard eights in the first 15 to having matrix. And I, you know, without without taking anything away, matrix are all right, but I like a few post matrix to 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 because when you play, you know, at the level and you've got a couple of Manera in your post matrix year, you have a different team. So, yeah, I mean, they're not they're juniors, and they, but they now are time to step up as matrix boys. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing how guys like Henry, that's a bit older, you know, again, I'm unfortunate I'm giving things away, but uh, Johannes Kirsten has done his foot, so he's probably also out for about six months, which is not ideal. He's uh, got a turf toe, which is one of those injuries as a lock. You've got to... So that's put us back a bit, because obviously having him guy who's won the European Cup and the Premiership, having him around would have been massive as well. So. Look, I mean, as I, as I said, Gribbis, I mean, they, they're not youngsters anymore. Guys like Jan Hendrik now and guys like Mornay Smith and Krobis and Ruan Nokia are now, as I said, they're seasoned, they're seasoned pros. Um, so I'm hoping that this is the year where they take the, the next big step forward. Cool. Thank you, Coach. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, guys. Thank you.